All right, on the cushion fans, guess what? We got a special midweek treat for you here. And uh, we got Miss Johanna Long on the phone to talk to her about what she's got coming up this weekend in Chicago. Are you there, Johanna? I'm here. How are you? I'm doing all right tonight. There's big storms heading your way, I think, isn't there? <laughs> I don't know, but I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll tell you what, you've been pretty busy here over the last few weeks. you got a couple good finishes and, and uh, good points days for you and ML Motorsports and uh I tell you, the race I really want to talk to you about and and uh, is Daytona and that 12th place finish. You know, I uh, I kind of have some personal feelings about that, but uh, you want to tell us what happened down there? You know, the ML Motorsports guys, we've had a lot of momentum the last past couple couple of races, and they've definitely brought some fast race cars to the racetrack, and it means a lot to me. And you know, we we unloaded Daytona. We were really fast, and we were really really happy with how the car was drafting and pulling up on other cars and how fast we could really go on with by ourselves. And I knew, I knew when we qualified and we qualified 11th. I knew it was going to be an extremely good day. And we just stay. Our motto was just to stay out of trouble. You know, if we get, if we got to drop back to 25th just to ride and not put ourselves in the situations that we shouldn't be in. And that's what we did. You know, we fell back a, little, a good bit. But every time we kept working our way up, up in the middle and we're working our way up to the beginning. And I feel like with 20 laps to go or 10 laps to go, we were sent six. And I was like, man, I, said, I came over the radio and I said, if we can get someone to help us and push us, I feel like we could get a good top five out of this. And, you know, we, we never had a partner. And we never had anyone that would work with us and, and push us and get us up there because I definitely felt like we had a car um, that we kind of could have won with it if we just had a good partner. Well, i got to ask you, Johanna, how frustrating is that to know that you have that kind of car at, at a at a track like that and how important it is to have friends, um, somebody to push you or, or to push somebody for that matter? How frustrating is that for you knowing that you have that <laughs> quality of car? I mean, I know it's got to just, just be tearing at you inside the car. It is very aggravating. You know, you're like, come on, just push me, man, just push me. <laughs> but it's just, you know, of course we don't have a teammate, you know, so you just really got to focus and stay in that draft and just try to um, suck up other people that are drafting each other. And it's just so much that goes along with that kind of racing. And you just got to, you, you know, anything happens there. You, you see at the end of the race, we're running good all good all race. We finished 12th. It was a good run for us. And we crashed out the begin- at the end of the race after we <laughs> – come across the checkers so anything can happen there you know you can get really aggravated but that's racing that's the way it all that's, plays out you know we can't be we can't be sad the way we finished and we can't be greedy because that was our best best run of the year and we're we're really excited about it and hopefully we can just keep on gaining on that momentum well i'll have to tell you what man i i was about ready to throw some stuff at the tv <laughs> somebody to step out and help you but you know it is oh, what it is too. you're right <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is but hey you know, speak that gives you some good momentum. Uh, you was off last week, but uh, you're heading into Chicagoland this weekend. Uh, you have any experience up there at Chicagoland? I ran the truck race there for Billy Blue Motorsports, and um, I think it was two years ago. And we, we ran pretty decent. I love the racetrack. It's a great facility, and hopefully we can get a little bit more experience. You know, it's my first time in a nationwide car there, but I, f- I feel really good about it. I feel like hopefully we can keep that momentum going and get us a good run there and have get us a notebook so we can come back next time and be even better. Now, I'll tell you what. You know, I know your focus this weekend's on Chicago land, but I know in the back of your mind, I just know after talking to you a few times here that the week after that, coming up next weekend is a really really big weekend for you and you're pretty excited about about it and that's uh getting out there on that big track at indy um are you finding it hard to focus on what you got to do this weekend with indy coming up i'm definitely not you know i'm really excited about indy and i can't wait to get on that racetrack it has so much history there and it means a lot to ml motorsports to be able to race there their home home track so I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, it's full focus on Chicago right now and getting a good finish there so we can keep on getting those good finishes that we deserve. And, you know, I, like I said, I'm so excited about Indy, but right now it's all focusing on Chicago. And and then after next week, you know, after the race is over, we're going to be full-fledged and forced into Indy. All right. Hey, you know, I think we've talked enough racing here. I, I want to talk to you about a few things here. Um, I want to know where what you think – you're setting 17th in points in the Nationwide Series now, 
And, you know, you've only run 11 out of the 17 races. There's 15 people behind you in points that have have more starts than you have. But you're only 47 out of 16th and only 150 points out of 10th. Um, now, I know you're not running a full schedule and you have uh, just a handful of races here left this season. But um, what would it mean to you to get into that top 15 if you could, knowing the limited schedule that you've run this year? That would be awesome. You know, I feel... That would be really cool, you know. But right now, it's just all about working with the ML Motorsports team and getting getting fast race cars and working with them and giving them the best feedback that I can get them, so we can run in that top 15 constantly. And we and you know when we start running like that, we're we're gonna keep on moving up in points. But it's just yeah, you want to do that and you want to be good in points, but it's just all about getting experience every racetrack that you go to and and learning from it, because this year it's all about learning and gaining experience at these racetracks that I hardly have any experience at. I'll tell you what, that's what keeps us so excited about you, is the way you just answered that question, Johanna. You're a true racer, you're a racer's racer, and and you you just, you push all this other stuff to the side, and I don't know how you do it with with as busy as you are and, and the attention that you get, and but you're just really focused, and, and I appreciate that as a fan, that's for sure. Um, you've had some off time, and I got to reading on your blog, and, and you have this happy place that you like to go to and ride this prized possession. You want to tell the fans what that's all about? <laughs> well, thank you. No, that really means a lot to me. And, you know, but my, my off weekend, I went down to um, Florida to hang out with my family. You know, I like to go to the beach and I like to hang out with my friends, but – you know, when I get to go get on my dirt bike and ride four wheelers and just set mind on myself and just have fun <laughs> and, and and ride my dirt bike, it, it's it's fun. You know, it's it's a little dangerous sometimes, but I I calm myself down. <laughs> it's it's now, just fun to get out there and ride. Does Mary Louise get a little anxious when she finds out you've been on your dirt bikes? Um, as long as I don't get hurt, and as long as I don't, I, I should be fine. <laughs> so I've been good so far, so they haven't got mad at me about that. All right, Johanna, uh, I appreciate you doing this midweek update like this. I look forward to doing some more of these with you this season. Uh, above all, good luck this weekend at Chicago. Be safe. And I, I really look forward to some things that we have planned for next week at Indy and, and finally getting to meet you face-to-face and getting you introduced on video to our uh, fans of the Raceaholic Racewear Grassroots Program. But uh, you be well, safe out there, and, and like I said, you know, look forward to meeting you next week. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to it. Hope you have a good night. All right. You too, Joanna. Thank you.